Hi, welcome to another video on my Arduino Mega 2560 with electronics, um, fish technique mechanics, motors, propellers, and yes, I said motors, mechanics there, mechanics. And the newest idea, the Arduino Uno connected through SPI serial peripheral interface to a very small part of the circuit right here. The original idea encoding um, of the SPI, I had to let it go. Um, to see why this onboard LED would work and this one wouldn't. So um, I changed it by making sure that uh, when uh, some value around 500 is passed here, um, this LED goes on. And this one off for one second, and then this one off, and this one on for one second. But um, that didn't quite work. So what I have done now is for the value smaller than 501 that. Um, these bur this burns when this doesn't burn and vice versa. The other value of larger than 501 or larger than equal to is commented out for now. However, the problem is that although this LED burns on and off, this one does not. So there's a question, is that LED correct? Well. I have another LED here which is tested to be functioning correctly so with everything working I am going to replace this LED which would be like this And then it turns out that even that doesn't work. So the only question is then, what is the problem then? Is the problem in this wire? To check that, the only thing I can do is, uh, as you can call it, a beep through. which uh, basically means you, you measure the resistance and if the resistance is um, about zero then it, uh, is a, it is a good wire. So first of all um, I put one probe here one probe on the other side I hear a very high slide beep so the wire is perfectly in order um, which means that that is not the cause either um, so the question is, what is the cause? Um, these wires are all normal and are fine. Um, it should stop whenever I lift this wire. Actually it does not. So this means that I should take a fail safe that if a, if a value is not being transferred, it should stop or um, show some um, different behavior. 
so yeah I'm going to change the code and uh, also think of how I can get this part of the circuit to work because this is not right so let's see how uh, the problem of the LED can be solved this is the part of the signal value which can also be found here on the uh, mega side um, this one is not functioning right now it's commented out so I have to find a way to make sure that is tested on neither one or the other and I intend to do that with an OR logical OR so I say if um, signal well I can do that with an OR I can also say um, larger than OR I think that's a little bit better and I'll show you what I mean see if I change this although it won't matter for now and signal is smaller than 1000 you get this and you can also say else if um, signal is larger than 1000 in that case we just make sure that this is alright of the uh, onboard LED goes off does nothing so we better take this one just off nothing else um, I can also check if this if there is no signal how do I check if there is no signal um, that's a very good question how do I check for no signal well actually let's see yeah I don't have that uh, smaller than zero probably although that cannot be said f uh, with certainty so I think I should um, make this smaller than zero which is actually untrue and the point is also that I don't know if something is larger um, than zero or not but normally when you get this uh, when you don't get the signal it is smaller than zero minus one for instance so if I check this then uh, it would be low so let's uh, figure out how this works um, I selected the Uno and I have still to select the port but this time it is ACM0 so let me upload it 
it's already uploaded right now it is flashing I disconnect the wire from the upload and it is still going on so this is not working This is not working. I have to find some some other uh, thing to find out if the wire is connected. Apparently, disconnecting the wire doesn't make it uh, smaller than zero. Um, the other question is: um, how does it, how does it respond if I make this value? Uh, 500 and 502 so let's make this 502 then I will have to select the MIGA and I will have to select the port which is this one upload It stopped and it went on. What's wrong with 502? Yeah, right. I don't care. It did upload. But um, it just keeps on blinking on the Uno. And uh, that is not correct. Unless I say now, something is wrong in my uh, reasoning about this. All right, I have to think about it. The a uh, simple way to check if the signal indeed is uh, something like 501 is using the console. So, like I have done here in the past, using serial print, I am going to do the same right here and say oops signal is serial dot print line signal and then exactly this is this wise um, well probably this should be here so if the signal is 501 I will see that in the console, I hope. So let me first check the correct controller and the correct interface. Compile, open it, and hope there is some output. which there is not hmm it was a nice idea but why is this not working um, 
maybe because it is different la uh, speed so if I look here what does it have here 300 baud yes no line ending but I just put it that way so that's maybe not the best um, This is not it. Not it. No, this. No, this. So, um, that's a good one. What is, uh, and I, I see by the way, absolutely nothing. So, the question is, what speed should it be? Because I should have the correct data also with am i having the right one by the way this is yes no definitely the right one so i have another point why am i not seeing anything in here let me first check um, this one and then the port serial monitor now I am seeing something so it should be 3 no this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong and this is right so it should be 9600 baud that is very clear now yes so I go here I select the UNO then I do select the port and I select serial monitor for which I assume it is correct but it doesn't do anything that's an oops why? do I have something to do in here? I don't think so because if serial would not be alright I would have gotten um, a compiling error and it doesn't do that. This is something I need to check. Yes, definitely. Well, um, to have communication um, on the Arduino you have to um, begin the communication in the first place like here at the side of the Arduino serial begin 9600 so I've put that here now as well and yes everything is selected so I am going to upload and then it says alright I don't have a hardware serial now that is the point so um, do I have that here I suppose so so I am copying this right here to have it exactly the same let's do it things are not exactly the same apparently
So why not serial begin? Line 14. Yeah, it should be 9600. And now things do go alright. Typo is easily made. So now I select sir. Sir, uh, signal is zero. So that is one thing. It actually is zero. And what did I expect? I expected it to be 502, which actually means that um, this signal is indeed lower than 501, but the value is not being transferred. So I have to look into the SPI transfer being received here. How can I, how do I correctly receive um, a value on the UNO by SPI? That is a very big conclusion. It works, but not as expected. Clearly proven by this output. So, let's find out how that works. I have done some more research and that turned out to be necessary. I found another example of um, Arduino as an SPI slave. And it turned out that I had to set some more um, settings. First of all, um, it is needed, quite necessary even, to um say okay turn the SPI in slave mode but apart from that you have to say okay um the and that is confusing some say okay set something in master in slave out however um not all tutorials are consistent unfortunately so while i can say okay master in slave out is um, output fine but um, this was apparently missing then another thing that was wrong was this digit uh, since I am using, uh, since I changed this to 250, which is way lower of course than 500, um, I get no errors anymore, so that one is solved. Something that was um, a little bit different, and I didn't solve that yet, um, is how to get the actual signal, because I change this back to here and I still get a uh, value 0. So uh, that is not quite alright. So the Arduino Uno, yes, um, I hope you can follow all my cursor movements. Anyway, Arduino Uno on top here on the screen. Um, 
has to be in slave mode. I got no error compiling that one. Um, do I have to um, say SPI begin in the setup? I haven't found that. So if I look here, uh, and this is uh, considered to be the slave. Alright, send to send on master, in, slave, out. So do I have to set, to set this? Well, not right now for me, because I am not sending data back. So that's one thing. Um, do I want to? Well, my objective is um, to be using one thing at a time when uh, and uh, here's a part of the problem because I have to select each time which one to send or to receive on um, I can't receive on both so either this one or this one and here I already have um, a lot of serials uh, serial connection uh, stuff in the output. However, if I want to see if the value received is indeed correct, then I will have to do that on the UNO. Because where it all started with is is this sig uh, does the int uh, the signal, which is by the way just an integer. Um, indeed, a value um, lower than 501. Well, you could see in the serial monitor that the value is way lower, being zero. But that is not what I sent. Because what I sent is, once again, 250, which is not zero. So, somewhere, somehow, I am uh, still at large when, or at large, uh, still puzzling how to get this. And all the um, good intended or well intended tutorials are not quite um, according to my own ideas. So that is still quite puzzling. I have come uh, a nice way uh, uh, by now, but since the um, LED is not doing a thing, uh, the onboard LED, um, what I also noticed, and I will show you in a, in a minute, is that one more LED has started to blink. And I hope that that is um, the correct way to do it. So let's um, go to the camera. Um, after I have uploaded it. So this is uploading. Thank you. Uh, that is still doing. And I haven't done anything with this, I think. Let's first upload. Select the correct one. Upload. Alright. Camera. Alright, for the... Uh final part of this video of this episode um, let's take a look on what's happening um, I um, did not have any moment to fix this one for some reason this um, mechanical switch is not uh, functioning 
uh, shoot at the moment either. Let me fix the camera. Because sometimes um, it uh, gets stuck. Right now it works like a charm. And for some reason um, this one keeps working and this one don't uh, doesn't. So it just slides under it or whatever happens. Then the rope starts sliding over the wheel. Anyway, um, back to SPI. So, right now. Um, it is configured now as a slave. And right now um, this LED is burning, uh, flashing on and off. And it is hard to read from this camera, but the one that um, these two LEDs are TX and RX. TX transmit, RX receive. So for some reason it is now transmitting. Um, is this correct? I have no idea. Uh, is it transmitting in this way or is it transmitting using these wires? Um, that's a big question. So for now this LED, uh, when I look at the code, um, it should work anyway because uh, the value 0 is um, no matter how you take it, lower than 501. So this LED should be functioning. Um, but this one is not blinking. So whatever I did, it's not quite the way I like it. And by the way, now you see what I mean. Um, this one is running, the rope is standing still and this one is not doing anything. And it is quite um, soft. Should this be? Should this not be? Um, not quite sure. I can bring more tension to it. But will this really help? I'm not quite sure. It is still soft. Okay, back to the SPI. Um, I'm not quite sure how to solve this. But I will. And that's it for now. So, um, Perhaps next time, hopefully also attention for this one. Maybe I have to replace a rope on this one. And SPI, yeah, for sure. If you like this video, um, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so. If you don't want to, I have Twitter as well with a live link to the video. Or Instagram with a um, copy-paste. Um, link and please see my website for more information and um, more interesting videos and pictures as well lots of pictures and this is certainly to, uh, going to be continued so bye bye